Hello guys, in this video we are going to talk about the built-in static method decorator in Python and without any delay, let's get started. So let's take the example of a class called person in which I have something like a very simple constructor which takes the name of the person and we just set it as an attribute of my class and then I have a function called about me in which I just take um, the reference to the object which has called it like self and then I just print um, I am this dot format in which I pass self dot name so that's it this is my about me function and then also I have a function called speak which takes um, the argument called message and I just print that message so this is my speak function so these are the uh, so this is my class definition and now if I just try to make a person object I get this p dot about me I get this and p dot speak let's say hello I get hello right so everything is working perfectly fine but if we just try to um, look at the speak function a bit more carefully and try to understand the difference between the about me function and the speak function we'll notice a difference the difference is that um, in the speak function I am not using the self um, anywhere so self what actually is uh, it is the reference to the class object which has called this particular function so I am not using the self anywhere in the function definition of the speak function but I am using it in my about me function so it makes sense to take self as an input in the about me function because I need it but does it make sense to use self or to take self as an input in the speak function when I am not using it so that is the thing that we need to think upon so what we can do here is that we can uh, prevent or you can say avoid our function to take the um, reference to the object which is calling this function by using a very special decorator which is built in which is static method so at the rate static method decorator will um, prevent your um, method or your function to take the reference to the object which is calling this particular function so in this way um, you will be able to understand or you will be able to know that yes this particular function does not take reference to the object which has called this function and why am I doing it because I actually do not need that right so now if I just check that p dot about me is fine p dot speak is also fine it's working perfectly fine but actually the reference or you can say the class object p is not being passed to this particular function call also one thing to notice is that by making this function a static method what you are able to achieve is that you can use it as a function of your class is class also so person dot speak anything and that will also work so in this way um, we have done we have used the static method um, and now why why are we using the static method is it providing me any uh, improvement in the performance no it is not pro uh, it is not providing me any improvement in the performance but actually what it is doing is that it is making my code more organized readable and also i'm able to understand and i will and i am able to differentiate between the functions which require any attributes of the class object and those which do not require that okay so this makes using static method makes your class definition more organized concise and easier to read so that is why we use the static method so I hope the concept of static method is quite clear now and if you still have any doubts you can put them in the comment section below um, that's it from this video thanks for watching